Now it's um, mid-October and the painting has got this far, uh, quite far, lots of ideas, so I thought I'd just do a quick run-through now to keep um, anyone who's interested in how the painting is going up to date. It's a big painting and there's lots of detail in it and it's, um, it's taking quite a, a time to paint. The first panel, the head of the figure, is more advanced than anything else. If I, if I go close to the face, you can now see the face of the beauty of uh, Lulin, Shulin, uh, or something like that, it's a Chinese uh, name. But she was an ancient lady of great beauty, uh, mummified in the Gobi Desert, actually. Nothing to do with this culture, but I thought an, an appropriate face. And there she is, uh, with um, her world in her mind. And her world, she's dreaming. And here, in these um, lines that flow from her head, are her dreams and her memories. And here, in the fullness of her body, likewise, are her, her world, her world view, her knowledge of the world, her way of understanding the world. And it's beginning to fill up with uh, thoughts and ideas. Um, so I'll just quickly describe some of them. There's probably going to be a border around the painting and it will carry the name of the painting, the mythic dreamer of Gobekli Tepe, will be uh, carefully uh, written on the top of the painting. At this end, the great stone will be painted um, as if it's a figure, and of course that's what the great stones were. There'll be no face on this figure, but there will be characters on it, and its arms will be folded across its chest, and it will have a belt uh, from which is hanging a fox, fox skin. These were the, these were the great um, ancestors, perhaps the first deities, who were stood up in the circle in the temple, each one a different one, twelve of them, um, around the two great pillars in the centre, which were obviously a sort of male-female illusion. There's the Tower of Death, where the, where the vultures um, are said to perform this strange act, where they gather around the top of the tower and form a kind of cone uh, as they devour the flesh of the dead. These are the death towers. On that other tower would be a head, probably, but we'll see more of that later. Now, th because the figure is broken up into these um, lines uh, that cross the painting in an arbitrary manner, to link it with the sort of physics side of this um, whole enterprise, um, I'm beginning to paint the objects that were found, the creatures that were found carved on these stones. Um, these, each one represents a separate group of carving. These birds on one, I think below them on the same stone was this boar. Um, a different stone contained this, this um, bull or, or this cow. <clears throat> and there's many, many pictures of birds some strange kind of fox-like creature. Down here we have, um, well there you can see the, the shape, I'm beginning to paint there, the shape of the uh, fox skin. And these symbols here carry some great significance or maybe they were just the clasps of the belt. I'm making allusion here to some Im images found in Chatel Hoyok, which is um, spiritually connected with Gobekli Tepe, though of course many thousands of years later. And this strange image, which is found on the front of some of the pillars, carved in grooves. It's look, it looks to me like two figures, and perhaps male and female again, 
and they are standing holding hands above the sun and the moon. It's the first appearance of these sun and moon shapes and they crop up of course all through all the major religions and um, it may be that here is their root. Then we have um, here we have other figures which I'm in the process of painting now you see there's a sort of scorpion figure there there's something there which looks surprising like a pottery bowl but they had no pottery so that is some kind of it has some kind of carved meaning and there another bird and it's chick or another bird next to it without a body now here we have one of the strange deity figures or perhaps not a deity at all perhaps a, an ancestor perhaps um, evolving from the old Bukrania idea where you take a skull and you coat it with a kind of gess gesso and you can mold it back into the shape of the face. This is how the first, a lot of the first uh, early carvings or depictions of deities are found in these um, very ancient um, Levantine excavations that take the story of the human story back to 8,000, 9,000 now, 10,000, perhaps even 12,000 BC. Here is a figure of the birds consuming the dead body on the tower and here is the figure of the bird consuming the head from another tower. That group of um, depictions that were found at Chatel Hayuk and was their burial practice it looks as though it could well have been the burial practice of their ancestors, the people at Gubekli Tepe. And then other images which we've looked at in previous blogs, so there's no need to repeat them. Here again, they're being worked on as things go. This figure in the centre here is actually not from any of these cultures, but from stones found in France um, but which were thought to, to be the earliest depiction of full human form. Now we know that not to be true. They're, people depicted the whole human form much earlier in Gobekli Tepe. But the kind of crudity of these figures in France um, I forget now, Rodez is the great museum for them where the monoliths are found and the monoliths are actually turn out to be sculptures of standing figures. Here you can see the face of the figure and around the figure's face there's a shawl, an elaborate shawl. And the hands here on this side and here on this side and falling down from the waist um, there's some kind of skin and the legs uh, are hanging down below the figure, you can't see them really. Um, so they, they wore a sort of skirt, these figures, and they're surprisingly like the same arrangement in, in the great pillars of Gobekli Tepe. So there we have a, a, a strange link with a, a culture in France that is, was thought to be incredibly ancient, but now we know it's very, not at all ancient compared to Gobekli Tepe. Some of the images um, also found in surrounding cultures more ancient cultures even in some cases. So that's the state we're in with the painting. It's still got a long way to go but it's, uh, it's approaching its, its completion.